Look, it's my private gym next to my private pool. It's literally just me in this entire place about to start my workout on this treadmill for a warm up. It's amazing, guys. I mean, I live here in the apartment block, but often this is the case where it's just me. It's as if this really is my own private gym, and I love it. So yeah, let's get to work, burn some calories, and uh, feel great at the end of it, right? Doesn't feel so good during the workout. But I tell you, after it's over, I feel so good, and so should you. Are you working out regularly? Let me just start this one moment. The three little beeps. Oh, show you. So here we are, starting. I always go 66, or 6.6, .6, right there, for speed. And elevation, we go 12.5. And we do this for five minutes, guys. No, oh, too much, 13.5, 12.5. Okay, so this is the goal. Hey, are you at 6.6? .6? Oh, there we go, now we're at 6.6. .6. So we're going like this, just walking. And we do this for a full five minutes, sometimes a bit longer. I've gone as much as 12 minutes. That's my record. It really starts to hurt after a few minutes, but that's good. You have to push through the pain. <laughs> push it. So I encourage you to do the same, maybe not exactly this warm up, but it's a good warm up. So I don't run. I really just walk like this. And it's actually harder than running. I find if I start jogging, it's easier. But with walking at this pace, 6.6, .6, uh, at a 12.5% incline, it's really tough. After like the first two minutes. The first minute is nothing. It's like, huh, this is easy. But then the body wakes up and says, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and then you start breathing heavy and you're thinking, ah, it's about time to quit. You start rationalizing. Let's stop. Actually, I can put this down, huh? Yeah. All right, let's have a conversation while I do my warm up. So you start rationalizing. Yeah, maybe you don't have to go the full five minutes. Maybe you could stop at two and a half. Don't let that get to you. None of that. Stay the full five minutes or more. In fact, the more is even better. All right, I'm only at two minutes now, and I'm already starting to feel the little voice in my head suggesting that maybe this is enough. Don't listen to that voice. Shut him up. <laughs> Say, nope, we're gonna do this. All right, let me get back to you when I'm done. Five minutes. All right, this is the face of a man that's almost at five minutes on my treadmill. Here it is, 438, 439. And we're almost there. So today, my phone broke. This is my backup phone that I'm making this video on and it's getting repaired. The screen went dead. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Now let's go over time. This is the push yourself mode. All right, I did five minutes. How much more can I do? Don't stop. When you hit your target, keep going. See how far you can go. I'll go for five and a half minutes. <sighs> okay. Like I said, I lost my phone. I'm not lost. I, uh, my phone screen died where complete white. Couldn't see a thing. It started with a green line down the center and then completely unusable. So it cost me about 800 dirham, which is about $200 to fix. It's an older phone, three years old. So it's out of warranty. Anyway, it'll be done in a few days. In the meantime, I have this backup phone. I think that's enough. Let's go down to zero incline and 5.5 as a, as a speed. All right, so I did six and a bit minutes, not bad. Now one other thing I like to do is walk backwards. So normally, 
You walk like this. Whoops. You walk like this. But here's what I do. Okay. Try not to fall. Now we go like this. You see that? I'm walking backwards. Huh. Yeah, you get the idea. This is a good way to stop or end. You can use the different muscle groups to walk backwards like this. But be careful because, man, it's easy to misstep and fall and run your face. <laughs> no face planting, please. It's actually quite difficult walking backwards because you don't normally do it, right? Muscles aren't used to it. That's why you should do it. <laughs> to push yourself in ways you're not used to being pushed. That's how you improve, man, or men, women, children. <laughs> That's how we all improve, is by doing things we're not comfortable doing and going beyond your pain barrier, your pain threshold. Push through it. Get out of your comfort zone. You know all these phrases uh, everyone tells you, but you don't do. Just do it. Nike got it right. All right, let's stop this section of our workout and move on to muscles. Okay, so what I like to do first is on the bench, abs. I hate abs because they hurt. So I don't hate abs. I don't like them so much, maybe is a better way to say it. So I get onto this bench, I, that's my towel, and I lay flat on my back, and then I lift my legs straight, don't bend them, and straight up, so you push it through the hips, so you are like pushing your toes to the ceiling. Do those 12 times, that's a, that's a tough one. And then go down slowly, right? Just stay like this, you, the, the, these are your feet, right? You go down like this, and up like this. Don't bend at the knees, that's too easy. And then hold it, do a V shape, kind of like a, like a jackknife, and just stick there for 30 seconds or a minute if you can. It's like the plank, but on a bench. Anyway, I can't really hold my phone up while I do it. All I can do is kind of hold it to the side. I can show you my technique. So again, the legs are just straight, and you push up, you have to hold, you have to hold back here, behind your head, hold with one hand so you can get the legs to uh, push up to the ceiling. So they go straight, and then no leg, don't bend the knees, and then you see my hips here? I go uh, up in the final thrust. So you do that basically as, as much as you can, and then you hold like this. So I'm just, you know, in like a V shape here. I'm going to be reaching forward, Keep your fingers to the ceiling and your legs kind of like this, 45 degrees. And then just hold. Keep trying to push higher, like reach up, but hold for like 30 seconds. I like to do that exercise. And then the really tough one is when you're up here, like high up, like your butt is off the ground and your feet are straight. Then go down and keep your butt up. So again, my butt is up. And I'm going down, but my butt is still up, butt is still up. Uh, so, so you uh, keep your butt off the ground as long as you can while your feet are dropping slowly to, to the earth, like to a parallel position to your body. That is the hardest of abs that I've been doing. Anyway, give it a try, guys. And after that, we're going to go do some of these barbells. I also like doing these squats using this bar. So I will go with my shoulders uh, behind it, so it's behind my neck, and then I just go up and down with my knees, right? That's a squat, but it's using the, the bar as a resistance. I don't like the, the free weight bar over here because my knees actually crack, and I don't think that sounds healthy. So when I do it with this machine, with the, uh, with the assisted one, I find it's much more pleasant. It's still difficult, it's still very painful after, and I do high reps, like I do like 20 or 30, not like eight or nine. I'm not trying to build muscle, I'm trying to build stamina and stay fit. I'm at 47 years old now, guys. I think I'm past the age of building bulk. <laughs> I'm into the age of just staying fit and having a healthy heart. 
Speaking of hearts, we're going to be launching Heartbeats soon, guys. And uh, click that eye up there to learn all about it. But we have Heartbeat photos and Heartbeat moments coming soon to you. They're already in internal testing. We're using them inside Freedom, but it's not ready yet for you guys. It has to be a bit better before I feel we can launch it. Anyway, coming soon to, uh, to a video near you. All right, let's get back to the workout, huh? No more dilly-dallying. Go, go, go. So it turns out I had to leave early because my alarm went off. I didn't realize what time it is, so I didn't finish my workout. I just did the abs, but we'll do the rest later. So this is how it looks around me. You dreaming but love here. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty-free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more, George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.